Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering uh, WordPress functions and we're going to look at uh, removing CSS files and JavaScript files from pages which we don't need those files to be loaded. So there's plenty of reasons why we want to do that. Uh, mainly it's caused by plugins. For example, say you've got an online gallery and you're using uh, Phobox, which has actually got its own um, option to disable that so you don't need to watch this tutorial but i'll give you another example uh there's a testimonial a uh, testimonials uh basic plugin i use and it there's no option to disable the css or javascript and of course it loads uh those files up on all of the pages and you know it might not be an issue they're very small files but if you've got lots of visitors in the thousands it all adds up to your page loading time and we know that Google likes fast sites so we want to crunch crunch that down as much as possible so this it's pretty pointless loading these files up on pages that um, don't require those files to be loaded especially they might not even visit that uh, page so yeah so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to pretty much unload any css or javascript injected by any plugin by conventional means there might be a plugin which they code it completely different which it may not work but to be honest i've not come across a plugin which it doesn't work with so let's um let's stop with the introduction and let's look at what we've got on the screen so as you see i've got a functions php file here and basically um we need to download the plugin which um we want to disable so in this case i'm looking at um a testimonial uh, basics so you download it here go to the wordpress.org search for your plugin and download it and then you need to extract it to a location um, and then remember that location because I'll show you what we're going to do so I've already taken the luxury of downloading it so you don't have to watch that and I've also unextracted it so I'm going to go back into a thing called subline it is free uh, for so many days um, so I've opened it here and this is my function sorry and what we want to do now is open the folder where we know um, the plugins at so I'm just going to get the path I should have done this earlier oh you can see all my downloads <laughs> naughty um, okay so I'm going to paste in the folder there and that's opened up let's expand that so this is all the plugin files okay so what we want to do now is I've got two files which I know I need to um, I've got two files which I don't want to load up on all of the pages I want to disable it for the pages it's not used and I want to load it on the pages which it is used okay so in this uh, these files are these okay so we're going to take the first file and this is the JavaScript library. We're going to hop back into the other window where we've got our testimonial basics folder. So what we want to do is go over to find and go to finding files. We're going to search for that, for that file. Okay. So it's found it here. Now what we want to take note is um, this part here, which is, this is what tells it to load this file here okay so in wordpress uh, we've got things called hook and names and that is the file uh, the the actual name we need to copy so i'm going to copy that and i'm going to scroll back uh, go back into here so it's in queue so when you see when you see that and then followed by i'll hop back over there to show you so in queue script and then it's the first value within the brackets okay so we're going to copy that so that's one f file so now i'm going to copy the the next file i want to find so we're going to go to find the files again and i'm going to change that to the css file okay so what we need to do now is i can see it here it's got see it there in queue style okay so we're going to copy that again so that's a unique name we need to copy 
and we're going to go back into here and we're going to start the script so as you can see i've got the the js file here that is what so let me just put that into so you understand wordpress basically sees this and then it loads this okay and to tell wordpress to not load this the javascript file we need to tell it not to load this quite confusing um but yeah okay so the same again with this one if we just do that and put a little square line there okay so let's start this is obviously invalid php so we need to make sure it's within the brackets depending on what theme you've got some themes are uh, terminated in um somewhere else but for the majority of people it should look something like this and you have you have lots of other code so uh, put this at the bottom of your functions.php obviously this is a blank php because i want to keep it simple for you so what we're going to do is we want to start with a function okay i will put this um i will copy and paste this into the the the, the video uh, description on youtube so you can just copy it away so you don't actually have to listen to my voice and copy it or write it so we're going to call we need to name our function so i'm going to call it seriously go underscore go away until required okay so that's our function so we need to put that there and do some curly brackets and then what we want to do is okay we need to tell it to load on the page what we want so i'm going to go oh look you know what i've been listening to wicked game so i'm going to go back over to um over to this tab and i'm going to load up my website now you're going to need to find out what page you want to um to load the code okay so wordpress it might be several pages um you can do that but in this example we're just going to cover the one page but it is quite straightforward I'll, i might cover it in a later video or ask in the comments and i'll let you know how to do it on multiple pages not a problem so i've just gone to the home page here so what we want to do is go to the page that you you know um that you want the scripts and the styles to be loaded on so in my example i'm just going to pretend it's the home page okay so i'm going to go to view source and then what we're going to do is going to go down to body class now you might even know the page name there is other ways that you can log into um wordpress and it will tell you the page name if you hover over the edit button it will say like edit such and such page but anyway this example is page four okay so body class now it might be in the html for you up here it really depends on the theme but um if you are struggling then do what i said hover over the edit button in um wordpress and it will tell you the page number so this is page four so that's all we need to know so let's go straight back into our ed editor and we want to put if is page and we're going to say page four so you might have a different page and remember this is for the page that we want the content uh the css and the javascript to load up so we're going to open those brackets and we're not going to do anything okay i'll explain this nothing do nothing nothing at all okay and i'll explain this in a minute so then what we want to do is else if okay now i'm going to make it we're going to make it um i could just say we're going to make it once more um if we're logged in um it's going to load those files on every page so some another it is debatable um some plugins load the same styles and the javascript in the back end okay so we'll just add this in you don't have to so you can delete the else if uh section but in this case i'm going to show you how to do it anyway so is user logged in okay so basically what we're saying is do nothing if on page four and then what we're going to do is we're going to do nothing again so if we're logged in the script does absolutely nothing if we're on page four it does absolutely nothing but then 
we want to do else okay so if we're not if if we're not logged in and we're not on page four then we want to tell it do not load these scripts okay so we're going to do a wp underscore dq okay under slash script now css is um css is called underscore script and javascript sorry javascript is underscore script and css is underscore style okay so we'll just copy and paste that and do that okay then we're going to do brackets let's give it some brackets i'll do one at a time so it's a lot easier for you and then what we want to do is we want to tell it to uh dq the script okay so we can't go ahead and put that there because wordpress doesn't it doesn't associate files it associates with the names which are paired with those files which is the the hooks so we're going to copy and paste this in here uh, which is the script okay so we're going to tell it to dq that script okay we need to put that terminator on the end and then we're going to do exactly the same with the styles oh i've copied the wrong thing so let's copy and paste that in and i'm going to close that off there then I'm just going to tidy this up and put some brackets, okay? And then we know where we are, okay? So that that's now closed off. So we need to cl we need to close this function. See here, because we've got the open bracket, that they need to, we need to add another one to close this function off, okay? Because I've uh, tabbed it, you can see that it's still open. So we're going to close it off now, stupid. And then what we need to do is add an action. We need to tell um, WordPress to do this function, okay? So we're going to do add action, curly bracket, uh, whatever. <laughs> and we're going to do WP in Q. I'm going to spell it wrong in Q underscore scripts we don't have to put styles okay so we're telling uh, WordPress what it's gonna do and now we need to refer to this function so we're, we're, we're telling we're telling uh, WordPress what we're gonna do okay so but we now need to tell it to do this function so I'm gonna copy and paste that in put some brackets or and you can use double brackets as well um either one you just can't do um it's for it it's for including like html within php and classes if you've got a class like echo then you would use the two dots and you know whatever but anyway we're not going to do that i'm gibbering on now now we're going to delete that because if we don't we're going to get some undes undesirable results so i'm just going to check my code to make sure i've got that right um so i'll go over it again if it's page four we're going to do nothing okay so the script's going to load okay the the script and the the javascript and the css if i'm logged in it's going to do nothing okay but if i if i'm logged in if i'm logged in and on page four then this is going to load okay if i'm not logged in or i'm not on page four then we're going to unload our script and that's basically it guys i will copy it in the description um i hope i haven't gibbered on too much but that is how you can unload any script uh css or javascript from um wordpress hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you soon bye bye